Okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Canva. So you're just going to go to canva.com. It's totally different than the school platform. Sometimes you can get confused. So if you're going to create a template or a presentation or an ad, whatever it is that you're going to create the graphic in Canva, there's two ways to do it. You can just create design right up here, this little purple button, and you can find a template size or you can customize the size. So if you know like you're going for a specific size, like you can Google the Facebook cover photo pixel size and you can change it in there. Um, for what I do, I mostly just always do Facebook posts. So I click it open like that and I title it up here so I don't forget what it is. So there's that. That's step one way you could do it. The other way you could do it is you could find if you want to do a presentation for class. So you can click this little presentation button and you can see there's a ton of presentations right here. Um, so you could do it that way. There's also a templates button up here. So you can see there's all these different templates as well that are in here. So let's say that you want to create um, a presentation. I'm just going to click one of these, okay? So here it is. Here it is. I'm going to name it. It's going to be test, okay? Over here to the left, you're going to see all the templates. All the templates are located inside there. So like, let's say you like how this one looks. You can apply all 18 pages or you can just select the one you want at the beginning. So let's say I just want this one. Just be aware that if I were to click another one, you're going to lose all the edits you made. It's going to completely write over everything you have on here. Um, but if you do that and you make a mistake, there's this little back button up here. You can just click back and the last thing you did goes back to how it was. If you want to add more pages, you can just keep adding them, adding them to there, however you want to do it. Okay, this one's not a very good one to kind of um, explore with you guys. So if I have one in here, let's just click one that has a picture in here, whatever. So if you want to click on something that has a text in it, that's, um, you can do that as well. So I'm going to start from a blank page. So I want to add a text. I want to add a title to it. There's all these different effects. You can use these ones here, or you can just add a basic one here and write, you know, this is our business 4020 class. This is an awful font for numbers, so you can go up here to right here. This one says Brittany. That's one of my favorite fonts. Um, there's lots of different fonts in here. If it has a little crown, that's how you know that um, it's, a, it's not free. So if it doesn't have it, it's free. So I'm just going to click one. I can stretch it to make it bigger, or you can know, like, I want it to be exactly 60. You can type it in right here. You can also go in and make it bold. You can make it italic. Some fonts, it won't let you. Like, this one's not letting you bold. That just means that font doesn't have that availability. So this is my business 20. I'm going to, you can just click it when the little four arrows come and move that wherever you want. So it does help with alignment as well. If you want to position it, you can center it right in the middle and the center. And, you know, it's right in the middle of the presentation. For changing colors, you go to the little A. Um, you can enter a code. If you have your code, you can go ahead and enter that. Um, that's an option. You can move this, change the color, kind of do whatever you want in there. If you have an image, so let's say a little cheat sheet I have, you go to uploads. Here's a picture of me and my daughter, okay? I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I don't know that color code for the Easter Bunny's pink, but I really like it, and that's the color I want. If you go back to that color, any uploaded photo is going to have that color. So I don't have the pink on there, so I go with the red. I know that's going to match the red that's in my shirt. If I really, really want that pink, like I really love that, I'm going to go back to this plus sign, and you see this little Doppler here? I can hover right over that pink, and I can match that code. So I matched my uh, text code with the Easter Bunny's color. A cool thing you can do with images, if you don't have your images uploaded, it's easy. You just click Upload Media. All of your documents, you can find them in there as well. Uh, if you want to go from Facebook, however you want, there's different options there as well. You can also upload videos. Um, you can drag them in there as well. And same with audio. As you can see, there's a recording in there already. So cool thing with images. If I open this, I'm just going to make it kind of bigger. If you click edit image right here on the top, you can adjust the brightness. You can move the contrast. You can add filters. There's tons of options in here. I can make it black and white. I can go back. Um, there's all these other things you can do. The cool feature I want to show you, it is only if you have a pro, but it can remove the background. So this is really cool if you are working on headshots or adding something to your resume, things like that. That's really, really cool. This one has a lot going on, so it might take a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute anyway. So look, it brought out just the people. 
So that was perfect. There we are. So I have my little family here. I'm going to make myself sitting on the ground so I don't look like I'm floating. And I have my title. Okay? Super easy. If you go into elements right here, there's a ton, y'all. And I mean like a ton. I can add a square. I can change that color to it. I can put it on the bottom. I can stretch it out. And then, oh crap, I want my people to look like they're sitting there. So if I right click it, you can send it to the back. And so then it's on there. So that's a cool way a lot of, you know, you put your call to action down here for ads or things like that. Going back to presentation style, if you click this animation button, you can make sure everything rises in with your presentation. Um, again, that little crown means you have to pay for it if you have the pro account. So you can add it to the entire slide if you had this blue line around the outside, that means you're adding the animation to the entire slide. If not, you can click the individual picture and have just that one be animated. So you could see that when it played that, it also had it all do that. It had the original and then that one still faded in as well. Another cool thing with text is you can go to effects, you can add backgrounds, you can kind of do anything in here. A cool feature that's new for Canva is making it curved. So you can add it curved. Um, so that's super easy. The last thing that I want to show you is when you, there's an option for presenting. So if you click present and you go present and record and you click next, this is a beta thing. So some of them have them and some do not. You can go to recording studio and you can add your notes in here. Um, you can close, I don't want a camera, but you can, you can add a camera if you want. It'll put you in the little corner. You can push start recording. It's going to count down and it's going to record the entire um, the entire video as well. So you can click through, you can do your presentation literally right on here. Um, so it's super easy and cool, especially for our final project if you're looking at something like that. Super awesome, cool and recording. I just wanna cancel and discard it. It's not that big of a deal. And I wanna go back to editing. So that's a cool thing. If you wanna download it, this little arrow pointing down here, this is where you can choose your file type. So if you're doing a presentation, you can do a video. Then it will have that animation in there. If you want a PNG, you can do that as well. So I do want this to be downloaded as a video. So I'm going to do my video, but I don't want this first slide in there. I think it's bad. I think it's ugly. And I don't want the last slide that has nothing. I just want pages two and three. You can push done and you can push download. And that's going to save right to your computer. So that's some cool tips and tricks. I always do recommend naming your file because then if you're back in the home page, you click this all your designs right here and you can see everything that I've created in Canva in here. So that's super cool. So um, if you're going for long term, the brand kit is really helpful because you can add your color codes, you can upload your fonts, you can add your logos. And that's another thing. If you have a font that you really love, you can upload a font from Defont, like download it from Defont or however you download your fonts, and you can upload it right in there as well. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help you.